Hi, this is Kevin from Brain Cell Technologies. We're going to go over the use of the Outlook plugin to Sugar CRM. First, you got to get the plugin. To get the plugin, go to your Sugar instance and navigate over to your Preferences page. Your Preferences are found by clicking on your bolded name right up here. Once you get over to your Preferences page, you're going to see a few tabs across the top. The one you want is Downloads. Once you click the Downloads tab, you're going to see all the plugins or all the Outlook and uh, Word and Excel connections that you're entitled to. You might see other things like Lotus, but that's for another day. Uh, click on the item that you need. In this case, I'm getting the uh, 2010 plugin for uh, x86. And then uh, you have to extract it. Once you've extracted it, and now run the installer. This is probably going to be different for each uh, user depending on what whether you, you're using Outlook 2003, 7, 10, whatever. Alright, now it's all done. I'm going to start up Outlook. Okay, I'm going to go to my add-ins. You see there's this button called Sugar Options. Again, yours is going to be in different places. The first thing you have to do is set your connection to your Sugar instance. Your username, your password, and the location of your instance. Hit Test Connection and you'll get this dialog box. If it's anything but successful no error, you got to go check your username password or maybe the URL. Sometimes this, this could show up blank Blank is also a problem. Go fix the username, password, and URL. One thing to note, a lot of people need to put the HTTPS here. All right, the next thing we're going to go over is using the Outlook plugin, but that's for a different video.